Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com, and today we are making chicken dardawini. What is chicken dardawini? Well, it's my Uncle Billy's really delicious chicken recipe. It's basically garlic, anchovies, red wine, and lots of other good stuff. And uh, here we go. There's the anchovies, two ounce can. Check the site, you gotta get all the ingredients. So we're gonna put some olive oil in a cold pan. We're gonna add a lot of garlic. That's about four or five cloves of garlic, minced. So on low heat, you're gonna start sauteing that garlic. You're gonna add your whole can of anchovies with the oil. And basically we're just gonna kinda of melt those anchovies right into that oil. And on, again, on a low heat, we're gonna just slowly simmer that together. And there is very few things as incredible smelling as garlic, anchovy, and olive oil just sauteing in a pan like that. Now that's aromatherapy, all right? To that, we're going to add our chicken. Now he had, I don't know, about eight or ten skinless but bone-in chicken thighs. Okay, he had, I don't know, eight, eight or nine chicken legs. I guess they'd have to be an even number. So let's say it's eight. And he carefully added that to the pan. Again, the heat went down to low. That's some fresh chopped basil, a teaspoon and a half of salt. Don't write this down, go to the site. All right, hot pepper flakes. Now here, I told him to put in more and then he reminded me there was kids coming to dinner. So that was just like a half a teaspoon. Uh, I would have put in like two teaspoons, but you know, he was the boss. Uh, tablespoon of dry rosemary. All right, and a couple tablespoons, three or four tablespoons of chopped Italian parsley. And then he put the lid on, and he turned, again, this is on low, while he measured out his wine. Now, this was some Chianti. What were you expecting? All right, half a cup of Chianti. And then to that, he also likes to add vinegar. So he has a quarter cup of vinegar. Now, he used apple cider vinegar. You, of course, could use red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, sherry vinegar, whatever you want. So he added the liquid to his chicken and herb mixture. All right, again, the heat's on low because we don't want the garlic to burn underneath there. He gave it a little bit of a stir, all right, just to make sure everything was sort of mixed up. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to turn it up to medium. You're going to put the lid on it, and you're going to let it simmer. All right, and you're going to let it simmer. I don't know. We were both uh, drinking wine, so we figured it went about 30 minutes on medium heat. Take off the lid and you see all the juices coming out of the chicken. Again, you're going to read today on the blog why we didn't sear it and brown it off first. We're breaking all the rules today. Give it a little toss. All right, and then we're going to continue cooking the rest of the way uncovered. So it's only cooked about, you know, 30, 35 minutes, but it's got a long way to go here. So you're going to occasionally stir it. Again, a lot of liquids coming out of the chicken. We got the wine in there, the vinegar. We're going to turn it up to high. Once we see it start to, you know, it's kind of almost cooked, we're going to turn it up to high. Now what we're doing here, we're reducing the liquids, and basically we're going to keep it on high until it gets kind of syrupy and sticky. Now what's happening here is an emulsification. The boiling is actually emulsifying the little bit of chicken fat coming off of those chicken leg, the skin from the chicken leg, with our olive oil, our wine, and our vinegar. Uh, he added some olives and some shiitake mushrooms he had. Any mushroom will work. Any olive will work. All right. And he just gave it a nice stir. And God, it just it was so delicious smelling. I, I wanted to eat it at that point. But he said, no, it's not ready. He said, we got to add another third of a cup of red wine to finish this thing. So on low heat, he added a third of a cup of wine. And he just let it simmer for about 10 minutes just to cook out the alcohol. And it just, I mean, the meat was falling off the bone. Um, unbelievable. At that point, he turned off the heat. He gave it a really good final mix, that sticky, delicious sauce. And then you got to cover it and let it rest. All right? Let things rest before you serve them. They just got to, things got to relax. There's our homemade pasta. I hope you saw that demo. Incredibly delicious. And there was our final plate. Not the most picturesque plate, I admit, but this is country, Italian, home cooking at its finest. Uh, I have not tasted chicken that delicious in a long time. So go to the blog, read all about it, get the ingredients, and as always, enjoy.